Hey everyone, welcome back, hope we're having a great day and we're all doing well. So easily one of the biggest issues plaguing Rainbow Six Siege on console is people using third party devices to use mouse and keyboard on console, therefore giving them an advantage over legit controller players. Now other games which have mouse and keyboard and controllers together usually give the controller players aim assist, so Call of Duty and Fortnite for example. But Rainbow Six Siege is one of those games where controller players do not have aim assist, so when they're in the same lobby as someone using an input device such as a mouse and keyboard, they are at a significant disadvantage. And this is of course because mouse and keyboards are just much more accurate when it comes to aiming than controllers are. Using a mouse you can aim basically wherever you want to go and you just move your hand there and it goes there. Whereas using a joystick on a controller is much less accurate and you have to find that sweet spot for it to actually hit where you're trying to aim. Take it from someone who's been diamond on PC Siege and diamond on PlayStation Siege, aiming with a mouse and keyboard is so much more easier. And now for years that's been a massive issue plaguing console Siege like I've said. And to get to the point of this video, some other games recently have been getting new seasons launched, more specifically Fortnite in the past day have actually had their new season. They actually have a section on restricted hardware, and it says the following, Starting the season, players who use restricted devices that provide, or are intended to provide, a competitive advantage may receive an in-game warning. To continue playing, players must remove the hardware and restart Fortnite. Attempts to bypass this restriction will result in a permanent ban from Fortnite. Restricted devices include, but are not limited to, Cronus Zen and Cronus Max. So one of the biggest games on the market right now, Fortnite, are actually going to be restricting and banning people for using restricted hardware. This is what we need in Console Siege. And it does say that some of the devices here are Cronus Zen and Cronus Max. And it can be used to use a mouse and keyboard on console, and it also allows you to add scripts to your controller to basically get less recoil when you're playing on controller. There's many ways that you can use it to get an unfair advantage. So it seems like Fortnite are actually going to be banning people for that. So where is this excuse that Ubisoft have been using for years basically saying oh this isn't our issue it's a microsoft and sony thing surely if a massive developer like epic games can do this then you ubisoft one of the biggest gaming companies in the world can maybe go talk to them about it or you know find a way to do it yourself because now it clearly seems like it's possible and i'm not going to play developer here and act like it's so simple and stuff like that but if fortnite are seemingly being able to do it soon then hopefully you guys can find a way to do it as well and i know the main thing that people use on console to cheat is a zim and i know it doesn't say zim apex here or anything but it does say that it's not limited to this list so i assume that zim is going to be something covered under this hardware ban so this is actually a really massive thing for console gaming in general and if fortnite can get a grip on this and actually manage to combat it then hopefully games such as rainbow six Siege, Call of Duty, and other competitive shooters and games can get hold on this as well, and we can finally eradicate this issue. So hopefully Ubisoft can take this and say, right, let's try and implement this on Siege and let's try and work on something. Because I know Fortnite is a different game, but if this tells you anything, it tells you that it is possible. So guys, what do you think? Do you think Ubisoft should take a look at this and see if they can do it themselves for Rainbow Six Siege? Or do you think they're just going to continue leaving it as an issue and not really address it much more? Sure, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Be sure to subscribe if you are new. I'll catch you guys later. Have a great day. Peace.